What's going on, wonderful people of YouTube? We're back with some more fish feed and grow. Um, so I'm going to stay on the river in survival, and I'm going to stay on easy. I know that's the lame way to play. But what I'm interested in at this point is I want to see how big I can get each stupid little fish. Um, very big challenge for some of the fish. Uh, like the bleak is obviously going to be probably the hardest, but I would like to go through each and every one of these here fish and see what I can get them up to. Just see how big we can go, to see how crazy they can get. So yeah, yeah, a whole video on each and every one of these fish is going to be a lot of content. So if you guys like fish feed and grow, drop them subs, guys. Come back and visit. Once a week, we should have one of these coming up, and uh, we'll just go through them and just see how crazy we can get each fish. I'm going to do it on each uh, each biome. So you got the, you know, the lake and the ocean and the reef and everything. I'm going to try to go through each of them. Um, I've not even really played on the swamps yet. So it'll be a fun one to see what fish are there that we can play as and what goes on there. But I've gotten everything unlocked on this one. So we can drop in here as the bleak. And let's see if we can hatch and see how big we can get. Hopefully we don't get eaten. Well, you know, hopefully we don't get our dreams ruined. But if we do continuously get eaten and we can't seem to get any traction at all, I'm just going to go ahead and say bleak too weak to do anything fun. Which I know makes me a chicken shit. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, we started off in the tide like in the in the water water which is one of the harder places to be it seems like the bigger fish like to stay in here there's like little outcrops that you can swim down that seem a lot safer but i'm sure that we can make this work in some way if our little brothers aren't chasing us and eating all of our stuff with us Oh, and I uh, I did figure out the the whole pregnancy leveling thing. You uh, you get the XP once the babies are born for all the stuff that you ate. Well, you were uh, holding on to eggs, so you just have to you know birth them. You just have to eat a bunch of stuff and birth them. And last time I kept getting eaten while I was trying to lay the eggs. Sorry, I'm focused on my aim because I have my little shithead brother here who tries to eat all of my grub. Hey, we already got to a fish. That's good, but that makes us a much uh, more of a target to the bigger fish now. So we do have to kind of be careful. But we still are one of the faster fishes. Come here. Get in my belly! We're going to go down the waterfall, which means we're going to go into the big, big fish territory. Yeah, we literally already are getting eaten. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Swim away really fast. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're out of stam. Looks like we got away. Looks like we're okay for a second. We really can't afford to go up against any bigger fish until we get, like, massive. Um, how massive that'll be... Is yet to be seen. And by the way, we don't care about getting the uh, eggs laid this time or anything like that. We are strictly looking to get big. If we decide to lay the eggs later on when we are bigger, then so be it. Until that time, though, we're just trying to see how big we can make our fish without without just straight up hacking. Because I've seen a lot of people play this game, and they uh, they start off playing it legitimately for like a few minutes or they say they're playing legitimately and then you just see them hit buttons and they just just level up immediately or they don't have a hunger gauge i would like to legitimately play this game um i know it's like super alpha and the game not super functional all the time i guess it's technically in beta but still it's definitely not a, a full released version of this game Let's get away from here. Seems like a lot of big fish are coming this way. And if I know anything about me as a bleak, it's that big fish are my mortal enemy. We generally just want to stay away from all other fish. Like, bleaks are just completely screwed over by other, any other fish. We really need to find, like, one of these little ports over here. It looks like this is one over here, maybe? I call them ditches, but I know they're not called ditches. They're, like, probably gullies or something fancy like that, but... I'm going with with ditch. 
because over here is usually much safer. You don't run into a lot of things. Sometimes you run into some eels over here, which will ruin you. And these fish are uh, not hostile, and you can actually eat those once you get big enough. They're very good XP. For a fish like a bleak, they're amazing. Is that a crab down there? Okay. We don't have to worry about crabs. We can't eat a crab yet. Wish we could. That'd be amazing. So I think this is actually the uh, the the pool you can use to like climb back up to the other area. I was wondering, do we even have a bite? We do have a bite, but it's not it's like a gum. See, it doesn't have like the teeth on it like the normal fish do. Well, that's interesting. I can gum things to death. Okay, so that's a bleak pond. So we should be relatively safe in this little area if we just keep eating little snails and stuff until we get big enough. Little fish, get the fuck out of here. Nobody loves you. Not me, not your mama fish, not your daddy fish. Don't nobody want you over here with me right now. You know, seriously, where are your parents, though? That's that's child neglect just to let you run around the ocean or in the lake like this. River? Water? Okay, so I hit level 6. Dude, I want to eat you. I ate an egg. I ate one of your eggs. Haha. -ha. What's our damage now? It's still 0.7. Our devour size is 12. I don't think that's big enough to devour any of these. Do they lay more eggs? Because I will eat your eggs. Because that looked like it was good XP. I don't know how much XP it was. I know I leveled up from it the moment I ate it, though. Dude, if this guppy would leave, that would be the best thing in the world. Dude. Dude, I, I'm a cannibal fish. Go away. Go away. I need all of the food for myself. I'm a very selfish, shellfish fish. Shellfish. I'm a shellfish. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I just dove out of the water after I made the shellfish joke, which made me look double the stupid. Hi, guys. <laughs> Missing millions here. Local special person. Totally don't need to go to a mental therapist or anything of such nature. I am totally stable. That's what my mom tells me. But yeah, I'm going to bring it up now all the time just to be obnoxious. But just so you guys know, we don't know how eels breed. As human beings, we are not quite sure. Because my I want my bite damage to be up to one. Dude, I still can't fight anything who is it telling me I can breed with right now oh is it my brother that's been following me around this whole time yeah it's telling me to breed with him sure let's do this let's go ahead and have kids this this area of the river seems pretty safe it's a bunch of extra XP once we have the kid so now I just have to eat everything I see like I said, it won't count as plus ones or anything. It'll just keep my food meter up until I'm ready to give the birth. Let's see, yeah, we just need more of these guys. I wonder if that fish was following me around because it wanted to breed. Because it seems like it's gone now. Dude didn't even take me out for dinner or nothing afterwards. Like, honestly, how rude. He didn't leave me with a phone number or nothing. When this baby born, I'm going to tell about how its dad walked out on it. Where's my daddy fish? He was a one night. Oh, hey. Hi, Daddy Fish. <laughs> we weren't talking about you. No. We know you love and care for your family. You're a stand-up kind of fish. Is it? Would it be a Would it be a swim-up kind of, like, swim-up stream kind of fish? <laughs> what would be the term for fish? That's a stand-up kind of guy. Come here. Get in my belly. Our food's doing great, though. This whole just, like, swimming around and just eating small things is working out great for this little fish. But I am very, con con like, interested in knowing how big this fish can get. And, like, how long is it going to take? Because, like, it seems like it's going to take a long time. 
I'm giving it an hour. How big can I get this one fish in an hour? And for those of you who are thinking, does he keep saying this fish because he forgot the name of this fish? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I literally, after starting the match, I, I told you what kind of fish it was and then immediately forgot. So, it's a bleak, maybe? Bleak sounds correct to me. Bleak's definitely a term that's in my brain, and if it's in there, it's got to be recent, because, dude, I'm telling you, things go in, they go right back out. My five-second memory power is outstanding. Come on, get in my belly. Oh, I'm ready to lay eggs. There we go. Yeah, I know. We got the river map stuff done. Cool. Okay, now we have eggs back there. Are you an aggressive fish? Yep. That's a big 10-4. What are you doing in my peaceful little area of the pond? Well, I hope you leave by the time I come back. Or at least aren't going to pay attention to me the whole time that you're here. What's my devour size up to? 15. Still 0.7 damage. I don't know if the damage ever goes up on this fish. My health's going up, though. Little by little, I'm at 13 now. So I looked up videos on this, and there's like a lot of content on it from like years back. And I, I think that maybe this used to be a mobile game that got transferred over to a PC release, and they're still working on the PC version of it. Or... They gave up on the PC version at some point, and now they're just working on the mobile version of it or something. But I can't find it on the mobile store. So if somebody has any idea where else this game is at, or a very, very similar game, like if this is like low-key a ripoff, like let me know so I can find that game, because I would, I would be very interested in playing the OG version, or a better version, or whatever the case may be. Oh, we're gone. That was one of the very aggressive fish of the lake. Hey, we're level 9 now. Devour size of 16. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be honest. I like to think that 16 sounds like a big devour size for such a little fish. Um, I have no clue. As far as I know, that could be uh, the tiniest devour size there is. I feel like I could devour this fish, though. And this is a little version of me. I really want to devour one of these. Is my damage still 0.7? Yeah. So that big fish there now, it doesn't give me the chime to say it's going to try to eat me whenever I'm near it. So I must have outgrown its devour size. Because it seems to not really want to deal with me. But he is eating all those little fish over there that I would like to try to devour. Yeah, we're 0.7 attack. Man, that's abysmal. This seaweed! Look at this Medusa here. Oh! Ah! Hi, guys. Goodbye, bigger fish. Oh, God. Did I lose him? I don't think I lost him. I don't think I lost him. I don't know if I lost him. Okay. I think... I may have lost them. Okay. We're going to try to eat this one. We're dealing 0.5 damage, which is absolutely incredible numbers. Those are unbelievable, unbelievable numbers. Like, this is like a critical attack every time. And once this one dies, all the other ones are going to, like, swarm it, too. Just FYI. It's a great time. Like, see, it just died, and now we're getting swarms. So we're going to have to try to devour. If it ever breaks, oh my goodness. Okay. That was good XP too. Ooh, get fucked. Okay, we're gonna leave here. It seems like some of the more aggressive fish are coming in. We're doing better than we were. We actually ate a fish. And that's called progress. And the world of fish, being able to eat other fish, is a step in the right direction. Okay, we're level 10 now. Which feels like a good level to start trying to eat some of the smaller fish. Granted, we are like the smallest fish, second smallest fish in the game compared to just like literally the, the like AI fish that are put there to be food. Um, 
But I need to find a new river piece. Because that area is getting way too filled with way too many asshole fish. And I know what you're thinking. Missing. Asshole fish isn't a breed of fish. You're wrong. See, there's the asshole fish. Right there. I found them. I think their official breed call is called like a asshole garcerin uh fish. Yeah, asshole garcerin fish. Their scientific term for those fish. Okay. There's a lot of asshole fish around here. Let's trim swim downstream. And see if we can get anywhere. We're level 12. What's our what's what's our damage at? Oh my god, we got an increase in damage. Our damage is up to 0.8. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, this is a cave of my my family. Hello family. I am big enough now that I feel like I have proven that this fish is designed to be useless. Um So if I die, I die. Like honestly, if I die, I die. Because with the other fish, the next fish in line is the piranha. And the piranha is not good. Um, I've played with it. And the thing about the piranha is they're meant to be in packs. And they don't really get that crazy by themselves. But at least they can potentially eat other creatures. Devour size of 19, damage of 8, point eight. Sorry. By the way, when you starve on this game, it's not like a solo thing. It, you, you know, it's not like one of those games where you take a little bit of damage over the time and you start eating again. No, 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 no. It is insta death. It is. Oh, my hunger bar is gonna run out. Dead. You're dead. You're not taking damage. None of that. Maybe we move. No. You're the deadest. There's multiplayer in this game, by the way. I just, don't, I just don't think anybody plays it. I don't think that I would find a match. I haven't tried. I have not tried, but I don't think I would find a match. I don't know, man. Like, part of me says I should try to go out of here and go and hunt down, pick, like, like fish I can eat. Like, actual fish I can eat. Another part of me says stay in this fucking river, because if you leave this for a second, you're going to die. A terrible, terrible death. Just keep eating, just keep eating. Da -da -da, just keep eating. What do you get when you eat a lot of snails? I guess a bigger fish that can eat some tough nails. Uh, I want to say, Tevin, I hope you cut that out, but I know he won't. Because I asked him to. Thanks, Tevin. Thanks for not, not making me look cool. Man, I can't wait to get the message from you like, dude, the audio in that video was f horse doo-doo. Bro, you, you're recording audio so bad, man. You need to really fix this indie game recording audio issue you have. And I'll be like, dude, I'm going to try. Because I, uh, I actually recorded a video, like just a short clip of this beforehand, just to make sure that you could hear me okay. Because I know like in our last one of our last videos, he said that you could barely hear me. So I was like, bet. And I tried to fix the issue, and I probably didn't. Fish. Hey, we're bigger again. Devour size is probably 21. Yeah. Damage is still 0.8, which is just absolutely amazing. I still don't feel big. Like, I've leveled up some other fish to, like, level 10 or so. And boy, you start feeling big. I don't feel big at all. Let's actually go on an adventure. Let's go see if we can find a new uh, area. Maybe some with some very small fish. Obviously, eat things on our way. Because if we don't, we will die of starvation. Because we are considered a big version of this fish, which means our food meter goes down ever the faster. Hey, uh, how do we feel about me doing a video on Luck Be a Landlord? Because I would like to start playing Luck Be a Landlord again. I think a playthrough of Luck Be a Landlord would be a good time. 
This is the same one, right, that I just came out of? Yeah, we're gonna try to find at least a further one away. Okay, so there is some assholes right there. Um, we need to kind of go around. So let's go cross. We'll boost cross. Ooh. But there are piranhas blocking the way, though. So we're going to have to swim quick. Oh, God, there's eels. I've made a mistake. I've made a dire mistake right now. Maybe. It doesn't seem like this is even worth it. This seems like it's just a patch of grass. But I risked my life getting in here, so we're gonna we're gonna explore it to the best of our ability. At least it seems so shallow that some other bigger fish might not be able to get in here. Did we just find a secret cave? Is this our secret grass bush? Like if the other fish can't get in here and I can stay in here, I could just just keep nibbling on everything that falls in this area. Until the piranhas decide to come in here and eat me. Or until I get too big to fit. Which will probably take like 17 years with this thing. But hey, our devourer size is up to 22. And again, I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, there we go. Something big came in for me. We're leaving. Still chasing me. Still chasing me. Mm-hmm. There was another bigger fish that just saw me. If I don't keep swimming, I will die. I'm gonna die anyhow. Oh, this is the end of me. Be distracted. I can't swim fast, I'm too fat now. My own nourishment's my own downfall. If I can get through these sticks, I'll turn around. Look, it's my family. Eat them, eat my family. Family, protect me with your bodies. I am the I am the God version of you guys. I am your Lord and Savior, big version of you. I think that worked. I think using my family as a diversion uh, was a very effective strategy. We need to get the hell out of here. We need to find a nice new safe stream with maybe some fish that we can eat. Some little guys, man. Um, I know that if I die now, I'm done. I feel like I've gotten this thing to its logical conclusion. I know it's only level 16, but when you're only getting one XP per thing you can eat. Level 16 is pretty high. Is this where we just lost that one? That's a piranha. That piranha looks so small. We ate a piranha baby. We can devour piranha babies. That's a step. That's a step in the right direction. We can't devour piranhas though. By the way, if you have damage when you get near a piranha and they smell your blood, uh, they they will swarm you. I'm just letting you know that now. So if you uh, ever play this game, don't go near piranhas with blood. Mm -mm, not good. Not the best smart thing you can do. Whoa. I feel like those fish would have eaten me. Yeah, it's stuck in current. I should be okay. I don't think it's going to get out and come after me. We're going to hide behind this. That didn't work. And it sounds like whatever it is isn't stuck in the current. Yeah, 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 it's not, it's not. We're dead. 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 We can't get away. We're dead. We're stunned. Because we're so small. And so weak. And this is the logical end of this fish. Yep. Rip! Rip! Failure. 43 minute run of that fish. I'm going to count that as a win. I think that that was about as big as that fish is going to get. I don't think that's going to get much stronger than that. So, uh, there you guys go. Uh, that was, uh, that was my, my 48 minute run of the bleak. I think it was like 48, 43 minutes, something like that. I think that's what the timer said. 
to see how big I can get it, and uh, it sucks. It sucks. So far, my favorite I've played as has been the pike. Man, the pike's fun. I got the pike so big that we were swallowing the Arapamia and, uh, in one bite, and those things are massive. What is the ability this thing has? Oxygen consumption? Oh, so it's actually an air breather. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, this has been our session of Fish Feed and Grow. Sorry about that. Uh, and we will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying this Fish Feed and Grow. And I hope that my audio quality was decent enough that my editor is not going to throw a temper tantrum. So we'll see you in the next one. And the next one's going to be, what is it? Piranha, right? River Piranha. We'll see you next time when we're playing some River Piranha, guys. Much love, everybody. And don't forget to uh, hit buttons. Like, you know, the like button the dislike button if you don't like my face which is fair or talk to me down in the chat i do check my i do check my chat and i i usually chat back so if you're one of those people who's like man i really wish content creators would talk back to me i'm small i have nothing to do but chat back so much love guys we'll see you there bye goodbye motherfucker